Welcome to Storage Chasers. If this is your first time, we are storage unit buyers and resellers. Yes, that's what we do. And you have come to the right place if that's something that you enjoy. So stay tuned. Follow the adventure. All right, today's adventure, we are heading to uh, a local facility here. It's a public storage facility. It's one that we used to uh, go and do the uh, live auctions at. And uh, now they have stopped doing live auctions and they've got them all online on uh, Storage Treasure. So we bid on one and won one. This one's actually list labeled as a manager unit as well. So we'll see uh, how good of the stuff is when we get there. Uh, we did see a few things in the pictures that uh, uh, of things that we wanted to actually uh, keep and use. Uh, some... Uh, clothing racks and stuff that we can use for our uh, flea market sales and stuff and, and for our eBay store some racking stuff so uh, hopefully it's gonna be a lot more good stuff in there than just what we saw especially for the money that we ended up paying for this one so stay tuned all right we have made it to our location we are at where are we at we are at a public storage facility here in Sumter this is the one that's close to our home and uh, we won this one on storagetreasure.com. This is a manager unit, lean unit. Uh, we picked it up for a whopping 180, 180, 194, 40 out the door after all applicable fees. This is a 10 by 20. And let's get into some pictures because that's what everybody wants to see. And uh, yeah, we saw the washing machine, we saw the clothes racks. We need the clothes racks for eBay store and for reselling. Out of the flea market so we thought that would be good uh, there was some other boxes and stuff here um, Christmas ornaments it looks like maybe some kids toys there was a big TV box in there but we figured that was empty by the way it was standing so you know we don't uh, calculate that all right then there was a picture shows this like a cabinet of some sort then there's another cabinet with some chairs on top and doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, there, yeah, there's a big TV box, kid stuff. Uh, looks like another dresser, or something back there. So, all right, so that's the uh, pictures. Here be the live. All right, so all the clothes racks are just as they said. So we've got one, two, three, and four clothing racks here. So that's good. We got a washing machine here. This looks like it's brand spanking new i mean it's got the paper tag here and everything else so that's cool we got some totes here we got some junky wood maybe maybe some kind of pictures frame so you got a little styrofoam -y thing says juicer we got another box here says humidifier mm. uh, ski clothes scarves nursing shoes and law shoes i don't know what that means but yeah uh, I do see some like ornament stuff under here. There's a chair. Ah, oh, in the room. There's a chair here. Another toady tote. And here's a here's a tote. Just says storage. I don't know. It looks like maybe paintings or big books or something. I don't know. But here's the TV uh, TV box. Yeah, she be empty. That's for sure. Um. All right, we got a, a little shelving unit thingy here. That's pretty cool. A little nice little countertop. Um, I I think I know where this is gonna go, so that'll be good. That'll be a keeper thing. This is a jink. This is an older table. I was gonna say janky table, but it's kind of janky. We'll see. Um, that would have been nice. Uh, I don't know what that is, but yeah. We'll see. We got this, and then I think these chairs that are up here go with this weird table. There's a corner cabinet there. Here's some cushions for our new chair. Here's some kind of a some kind of a cabinet, maybe a TV stand or something. Nope, the top opens up. Okay, so weird. Uh, looks like another dresser here. There's a printer box, also empty. And uh, oh, let's get back in here. We've got this big old console thingy here. If you can see it in the light, probably not nothing in it so yeah we've got all this going for us but most of it is larger items so uh, not too much that we're gonna do in here but 
Uh, yeah. Looks like the machine is gas. Huh. So she is a sensor dryer, gas dryer. <clears throat> gas dryer. Really? Okay, that uh, may be a harder sell. We'll have to see. Maybe that's why it's in here without a washer. I don't know. But there seems like there's a lot of stuff in here that we can uh, resell. So we'll have a little bit more breakdown once we figure out what we're doing. But for now, we just wanted to kind of go through the stuff and show you what we got. So we will see you uh, next time when it is all cleaned out. All right, welcome back to <laughs> day number two. Uh, yesterday our trailer was full from another unit we had to pick up so now we are back we actually put our lock on the unit and left it here overnight and they gave us till 4 p.m today it's a little after noon now we uh, actually contemplated renting the re-renting the unit so that we'd have more days to be able to get it but they want two hundred dollars for this unit for one month after fees and everything else because it's a 10 by 20 and it's climate controlled so boo on that so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna try a, a new type of video where we bring the stuff out either outside here in the hallway or outside depending on when it starts to rain and we'll just show you all the items here as we're loading them into the trailer and uh, we're pretty confident that all the stuff will fit in our trailer that's the way it's looking right now but uh, yeah we're gonna jump right in and start getting it through some stuff uh, as soon as I get my phone in my pocket here, you want to list items? and uh, uh, so uh, the first thing we got here were these onesie rack, and there's a twosie rack, and here's a threesie rack. And this one here has got some clothes on it, so let's go through some clothes really quick here and see what we got. Oop. And uh, we've got this one here's Columbia, a little snowsuit for a kid. That's kind of cute. We've got that bad boy there. We got a suit, pants here. It's got the cummerbund. It's got the bow tie. And it's uh, uh, Fuma Galleys <laughs> or something like that. All right, this is kind of cool. Judith, uh, Judith March. Okay, that's a that's really that's a 70s item. Whew. Look at that thing. Somebody somebody gonna want to buy that. This is a double zero, and uh, other than it looking kind of comfortable looking, I'm thinking yeah, it's gonna be about a zero at the flea market for us. Here's an interesting little poncho. yeah little poncho sweater thing. That's kind of cute. I like it. Here's a furry shirt with some sleeves. Uh, you, UG, yeah, what the heck? <laughs> um, G, maybe let's go with um, G. And uh, this one here has got some marks I've seen before. Marmot, Marmot, it feels like a raincoat. The material feels like a raincoat. Get a little hood on there. It's a looks like a small to me. Interesting though. Oh, here's another 70s item. It's a Lux, Luxie. Yeah, that's a that's a nice 70s retro -y thing. Somebody will want that. Got some interesting little skirts here. And little pants. Little pedal pushers right there. And a skirt. And another top here. Oop. Top has a... Looks like Everly. Yeah. Don't know. Here's Mountain Hardware. Interesting. And... Uh, this one here get my thumb over there patagonia now this i've heard of this brand uh the guy we watch a lot hurry tornado they sell a lot of this stuff this is a really unique piece so yay we made some money there everly again on this one and we got a gap and we got a turtlenecky thingy hoodie i don't know what that is no it's a turtlenecky thingy i don't know <laughs> it's a black long sleevey almost like a little black dress thing so that's interesting uh Munzio black jacket uh j crew j crew is a good brand uh and uh j crew if you got two of them it's even better i guess right morona nope that's like a walmart targety brand or something 
All right, here's a hoodie, stretchy pin, something. I don't know, it's uh, I think it's a little turtleneck hoodie thingy. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Munzio again. Oh, there's another Patagonia. Ooh, we're in the money now. Got two of them. Woohoo! Make some money. And another Munzio. And uh, 25, whatever that little shirt is. And we have an empty hanger. And then we've got all this stuff here. So we've got another Everly. And if you're looking, we're just we're just moving them from one rack to another, and then we're gonna load them in the trailer. But we wanted to go through stuff. We don't gotta see what we got here. Morona, Weston. I'm gonna do it this way, you guys will be able to see it better. So joy, joy. Uh, a P and a pod. That's interesting. Uh, Ellen Tracy. That's like a raincoat. Love that sound. Um, so that's interesting. Here's new with tags or something. New with tags last something. Oh no. Lazy Sundays. It was $42 for that cute little thing, huh? Alright. Here's my prom dress. It's a bill something that I can't read. And then there's another dress. Oh, that's better. This was long. I better leave it on this long or taller one. Uh, here's a nice little uh, goldy dress. Interesting. We got a dress, a brown dress in a plastic thing here. We'll leave it in the plastic since they dry cleaned it for us and took nice care of it. Uh, pink, 1988. Nothing spectacular there. Just a brown shirt and a white shirt. They're all stretchy, but they're all this, whatever this is. What does it say? Uh, Pico 1988 so it looks like we got three of those shirts and uh, Gap Just another and another Pico so we'll have to look up Pico if we got three or four of them Looks like a little robe thing a little uh, like a coverall for when you're wearing your bikini so When I got my speedo on I could wear that and we got a pair of stretchy stretchies and uh, Older dress, Samantha Ray, it looks like. If I show you the tag instead of paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> well, this is a unique top. That's definitely 70s style there. Woo! Very cool. And uh, it says uh, whatever that is that I can't read because I don't have my glasses on. And uh, Flying Tomatoes. Flying Tomato. It's got this long dress here. So, yeah, we've got. Uh, we've got these clothes going on their way into the trailer. Uh, we also have this LG gas sensor dryer here in like new to excellent -y condition. Sorry about that. Excellent -y condition. I mean, this is, I mean, this barely got a little sc scuff on there from the door opening. I mean, this is duh, practically new. So, we have that going for us and uh, we're gonna load these couple of things up and we'll hit some more items okay we're back at it we got those few things moved we're gonna go right in here now and show you uh we got some pieces of board which uh yeah are not very exciting we got a thingy here looks like it hangs up or yeah, maybe hangs on a wall or hooks to something. All right, it's kind of interesting. Kind of looks like it may be a drawer or something. But it's like, it's felty on this side. So, yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> we will check that out and see what's in there. All right, next we're going to go through a couple of totes here. Pull them out in the hallway so we can see good. What do we got? Box number one. We've got, uh, see, a pair of shoes. Um, Dan Dansko Danskis. Uh, I've seen these uh, also. Harry Tornado has bought these before and sold them. So they say you got to do the old uh, bend test to see if they're bendable and breakable. No, <laughs> they're not. So they are in there. A pair of them, and uh, yeah, and get my get my exercise on there. All right, so we got those and some shoes. 
and what's in here we got a sweat band in there and uh just weird clothes looks like they're workout clothes looks like hair yeah. all right we got some scarves cute little scarves we'll see if they got a name brand on them it says lcs that doesn't sound familiar but it's just scarves and scarves all right i don't know we'll have to look we'll see if it's got tags on them or something but uh scarves can sell for us they're just not big sellers for us in the meantime we're going to reuse this box and put some uh, clothes in it and we'll probably check out this one here now see what's in it stick now we got a looks like a diaper bag with empty boxes Alright, that had a slim drive in it. Ooh. This had uh well I think it's in there actually. <laughs> I feel that that, so it's got one of those in there. No, now it doesn't feel heavy. So no. No Litman stethoscopy. Unless it's in here somewhere. Nope, nope. And a binder that's empty. Is that Vera Bradley? It looks like the pattern is Vera Bradley, but it doesn't say Vera Bradley, it says Logan. So, boo! Oh, but a calculator, yay, and some pins. All right, so we're doing good. We got, we got that going for us. Still doesn't say Vera Bradley. This one also looks like a Vera Bradley. Let me get down there. Ah, and this one is a Vera Bradley. That's a big bag. And uh, we do sell her on, uh, oops, sorry, online. It does have some initials on here, so embroidery may hurt it. We'll see. But yeah, we got that, and we got that, and we got the stethoscopes empty, and we got a box that's empty that had a MacBook. But we got the paperwork for them. We got the paperwork for it, and I doubt if it's in the unit, but we will check. So that is that one and we're gonna pack up some of the taller clothes in these boxes here to get them loaded easier uh, we got this styrofoamy thing oh it's a juicer and it's a juicer <laughs> here we go it says uh, Breville B-R-E-V-I-L-L-E -L -L -E is what I'm reading seems like all the pieces parts are here we will uh well, first I'll close it up if I can. Alright. Close that up. Get her out the way. What do we got over here? We've got a germ-free humidifier. Let's see what's in the box. It looks like it's in there. And oh, Honeywell dehumidifier looking thing. Yeah. So we be in the box. Newish in the box is always good. All right, moving right along. We've got a we've got a big bag here, and a big mat. It says uh, "Loved Baby." I don't know what goes in it, but it's gonna go over there. And we got another tote here. And what do we got? We got. That's a ginormous -y neck pillow. It's huge. Uh, we got this. We got looks like some baby bottles and and nipply things and skinny thing and we got some. They're really soft. Maybe these are dog balls. I don't know. Maybe the kids ones. But a lot of kids toys, small kids toys, some cool little things. I mean, they'll probably be able to sell some of this at the flea market. It doesn't say nerf on it or does it? I don't know. We'll see. That's always cool. It works, it sells. Alright, we've got all kinds of critters and balls and plushies. Oh that was so cute. Alright, and uh frogs and all the animals you could hope for in there. So we got that one. What's next? We got this one here. Let me get out of the way here. Ugh. And this looks like it's all just 
Christmas ornaments. And it is Christmas ornaments to the bottom. It's all plasticky ones. But somebody will buy these around Christmas time and we've got a couple of unique trees. So not in this unit, but in other units. So we may be able to get them. What else we get? We got a chair. It's, ooh, it spins. It spins, it rocks, it swivels, it it does it all. So, yeah. And when it does it all, that means we can sell it for more money, right? Okay. So we're going to get this one uh, listed. And let's get through. Here's another tote. Okay, we've got this one here. Uh, Alright, it's got, it's got some felt little... Huh. It's just like little felt thingies. And we got one, two, we got three felt thingies in here. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if we can sell those, but we'll try. And uh, see if I can get any other small stuff out of here out of the way. What else we got? We got a couple of cushions or pillows. They're just decorative pillows. All right, we got this ginormous TV box. It is absolutely, positively empty. No doubt about it, empty, empty, empty. So, no money there. Also had this Canon uh, printer box. And if you can pick up a printer with one hand, then you're stronger than me. So that box, empty. No money, no money, no money. Uh, plastic bag, it was just sitting on top of this dresser here. We've got another cardboard box here. Let's see what's in this one. It's got a blinky. So we got a blinky over there. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. We're gonna get to uh, pulling this stuff out here and we'll check that stuff in just a minute. All right, we got a couple more things out. Sorry about the air conditioning sound if you hear that because we're standing right next to the door and it's right outside around the corner. Uh, we got these pictures of ducks. Uh, this one here says Northern Flight. It's got an actual pencil signed and then the picture is signed or the print is signed whatever uh, not too bad uh, this one here also signed and numbered on this one here and uh, this one's got some ducks oh I think it's sideways so it probably goes this way so there you go it's a duck picture looks like that but this one has got a affidavit of limited edition uh, let me turn around so you can see it yeah, half a David, a limited thing, and a numbered still stickered seal thing. So, that is going to be pretty cool. Hmm. And then, uh, we got these two. They're kind of like accent chairs. That's what we're going to sell them as, little accent chairs. They're pretty nice. Not too bad. They match, and uh, they're not in bad shape. They look pretty new, not scratched up or nothing. So, they'll make some nice accent chairs for somebody you think. Uh, we got a uh, a door locker bar if you've ever seen one of those it's a master you put this under the doorknob and this one you put it at an angle on the floor and it holds the door shut and then we got some shelving pieces but that's it there's no other shelving pieces all right let me get out of the wifey's way here and move my phone off my new table here all right we got this uh, cool table uh, it's got uh, four chairs. They all seem like they're oak. It's got some kind of weird leaf insert piece here that we're gonna have to figure out how it folds up and stuff. But it's a uh, it's an older piece, that's for sure. Definitely 70s ish styling, maybe even older. Um, yeah, it's got some kind of pull it apart. <laughs> See if I can pull it apart. I don't know. It's got some kind of locking mechanism and thingy over there. Oh, I see. You're supposed to pull that. And then it's got some hooks. And then it's got that. So let me, let me pull this. And there. That's, that's, that makes more sense. All right. Then we got, we got the old uh, fold, uh, fold it away and pushed together now we have a smaller table <laughs> that's how we do that and now it's like this and we're gonna 
get this one listed and uh, then load it up as well. Uh, this was really a nice, nice find in the unit. We didn't know this was actually this nice until we got in here. But it's like a TV stand with drawers. It's got two empty spots here for your electronic -y devices, gaming systems, whatever. The holes in the back of the wires. It's really tall. I'm going to say like three and a half, four feet. Four feet, probably. It's up there. It's a pretty tall piece. Nice drawers. Uh, got a little uh, velvety this going in those really nice smells like brand new i mean just have some smudges on here i think it just needs to be wiped down lightly but uh we just sold a dresser that was almost as nice as this maybe nicer for 300 bucks so i'm thinking we can get at least that much for this so we're going to definitely get that bad boy listed as well uh let's jump to this one here put my phone down uh, this is a piece we're actually going to keep for our kitchen. We're going to use it as an island in our kitchen. It's got stainless steel coatings on the two shelves here. It's opened up here. You can like put bar stools there if you want to, but we're going to actually slide slide it up against our bar that we already have in or on the kitchen side and use it for storage and as an island so we have more countertop for right now. Uh, it's got like a chopping block type of top here. Don't know if it actually would be cutting board type but uh we'll clean it up and and see how that goes but this is for really really a unique piece so yeah and it's probably pretty expensive at that but until we remodel our kitchen that'll be a really uh, helpful piece uh this piece absolutely 70s maybe even older type of uh, styling here you can tell by the the legs here this is a old stereo component cabinet you put all your stereo cabinet pieces in here. It's got the little shelves that you can adjust there. I got the pins right of it right now. Uh, slide over here and you can get in here and look, you can put your albums in there. Albums are p things that people used to use on turntables, which goes in here. Uh, you open up that door and you have access to your turntable. And the records go round and round. You put a needle on them and play them and it plays music. It's really a unique thing. But this is a definitely a cool find. I think it's a, more of a modern contemporary piece to make it look like it's old, but it, because of how it goes together, that's why I'm guessing that. But it is still solid wood piece, really nice made. So yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, next will be this corner cabinet. And yeah, you can see it goes into the corner and it's got cabinets and got a got a actual key <laughs> it's the liquor cabinet but it won't open so or I'm turning it the wrong way oh, there we go all right so we've got is it gonna open it's got a hinge and a hinge and there we go had a latch sorry um there we go it's authentic reproduction by Craftiques or something like that. I don't know if you guys can read it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but this is a really nice piece here. And I gotta lock it back up so that the cabinet doors won't open. And then it's got it's got glass doors up here. Same little release button here. Nice. Wood, wood, wood. These feel like they're almost like balsa wood type shells. They're a little hollow. But it is a real wood piece. It's not no particle boardy that I can tell from this side. So that nicey nicey. And uh, yeah, some paneling there. Last but not least, we got this two piece credenza TV uh, console thingy here. Trying to see how bad the lighting is. Let me get some my phone and see if I can produce some light here that'll be better. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So we've got, it's a two piece. You got your TV hole up on top here. You got spots on the bottom here for uh, some things for, you know, electronics, VGR, DVD player, whatever you got. Uh, the bottom has a drawer with, uh, looks like a couple weird things in there. And uh, yeah, nothing super important, just some hardware, shelving clips, because there is a shelf that goes in there so that the TV can be higher up. And yeah, very nice piece here. 
and uh, luckily it's in two pieces it'll fit in our trailer so we don't have to lay it down that's even better uh, this unfortunately too tall for our trailer and we'll have to lay it down being that it's a corner cabinet it has to lay down on one of its three sides so yeah I wish we had a mattress but we don't so we got a lot of blankets so a lot of blankets we're gonna pack that up get it into uh, our trailer again this is a, a keeper piece for us for sure so we're gonna sell that sell those sell that sell this and then we've got our cool new din dinette table here with the leaf we're gonna get uh, some money on that and uh, our two chairs and our pictures all right, so we got the two chairs outside. We're about to take some pictures of those, get those posted on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And then we've got our last two. We got the pictures that are out here. We'll uh, uh, have to check those out and see what needs to be done for listing those or, you know, making some money. But that'll do it for this one here. We're going to uh, get all this stuff, uh, pictures taken and listed, and then load them up in the trailer. So by the time we get home, we're gonna hopefully have some people jumping on board wanting to get some of this cool stuff. Okay, unit 613, big old 10 by 20. Cleaned out, wall to way back wall, to wall to door. Done. Better, way better than when we got here. And we got everything, uh, in the trailer we got the stuff that we're going to resell we've got it uh, pictures taken posted on marketplace already and then loaded in the trailer so we are good to go all the stuff we're keeping we're keeping so we're going to head back up on the road all right so that's going to do it for this one hopefully you enjoyed the video it's a different type different way of filming it but uh yeah please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff as always we will talk to you later